What's up everybody, The Network Berg here. In this lecture, we'll be going over a couple of tools, namely email and NetWatch on your Microtech device. So you can actually send out emails from your Microtech to notify you if there's any issues that's happening on the network maybe. Um, it's, it's a great tool to use in conjunction with other things, specifically Microtech scripts, or namely the other tool we'll be looking at, NetWatch. So we're gonna build a little thing here with NetWatch, which is an application almost does automation that detects and looks at interfaces. And if an interface is up or down, it will perform a, a specific action. And you'll see how cool and interesting this will be. All right, without further interruption, let's jump into the video. Alrighty, so we're in Winbox. And first thing we wanna do is actually set up the email function to work. And the email tool you can find under tools and you can go to email, and then you need to set up your email settings here. Now you do need a valid account to actually connect with. So this can be a Gmail account even, this could be any other account. This could be your own exchange or it could be uh, something in the cloud, but it has to exist somewhere. You need to connect to a server that allows for you to send out email. Now I'm going to use a Microtik article, a wiki page article to actually configure this. So I'm just going to Google quickly um, email Microtech. And then we should actually see the tool right there. And if I scroll down, this will give us all of the information we need, but I'm more or less just interested in this information that we in need to input into the server. So the address is just what we're going to be connecting to, to establish that SMTP connection. So I'm going to go back to the Microtech, just paste that into the server, the port, I will use 587 because that is for Google 587. Ah, that, that's unfortunate 587. And we do need TLS. So now we can also specify from so this would typically be the email address that you're sending from, I'm going to use a very old gaming account when I was 14 years old that I don't use anymore. But um, pretty, pretty funny. So dark 14 at gmail.com. I was really into fantasy games, especially stuff like uh, Warcraft back in the day. Um, my user will be also my email address. And I just need to type in the password that I would use to typically log into that email server. So if I apply this, now I can actually send out email connecting to that server. You can click on the send email button and then it will specify stuff like an address. So in this address, you can leave that as blank so that it can connect to anywhere on the internet. If we're using the Google uh, email service, so in my case, I'm using Gmail, we do need to set the TLS attribute as yes, which is just this little tick box. And then what we can do is set up a, because this is just a test email now that we're going to send. So I'm going to send a mail to, uh, VandenbergJ at the networkberg.com, which is my networkberg email address. And then I'm going to say this is from microtick at the networkberg.com. Subject test and the body I'll just make one, two, three. And what I'll do is I'll send an email and let's just see if this works. So it, it will work if this box just goes away on its own. If there was an error, it would have told you, hey, there's like an auth error or something. And then I just want to navigate to my mail. I got that mail and we, we can definitely see what's happening on our device. So that's quite nice. So we're going to use this in conjunction with another tool quite shortly. Alrighty, let's look at NetWatch and we can access that by going to tools and going to NetWatch. And then you see this NetWatch field, which will show you any NetWatch that's currently running. So if I click on the plus, I can add a new NetWatch host. And the host is basically the destination that your Microtik will be pinging to see if it's up or down. And then depending on whether or not it's up or down, it will perform a script. So we can set a host as an example, my computer's address 192.168.0.2, which is connected to the Microtik, which is effectively my LAN network. And this interval, it will do the test every minute basically. But let me just bring that down to 10 seconds so it's a bit quicker. But the lower you make that, the more system resources that will consume to keep performing these checks. So it, depending on what your requirement is, try and make the interval roughly to what you need. So if you maybe wanna do something like a failover script, make it 30 seconds or something. All right, our timeout, I'm gonna leave at one second, which is a thousand milliseconds, but you can increase or decrease that depending on how long it takes before the NetWatch decides the host is up or down. And then you can create a script for if the host is up, 
Should it perform an action? Or if the host is down, should it perform an action? Let's do something fun just to test to make sure Netwatch works. I'll do a beep if the host goes down. So let me apply that. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to plug out Ether2 that's connected to my MicroTik directly to my computer and see if a beep happens. So let's do that now. And we should hear a beep in a few seconds. There we go. So effectively, we can automate certain things using NetWatch, depending on the status of uh, a ping to a destination in essence. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reconnect quickly because my Winbox session obviously dropped because I unplugged the cable. And I'm going to tweak that script in NetWatch and I'm going to use email with it. So this is going to be fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my down script and then we need to basically get the command of what we're going to email. So now this is going to happen on a command line level and that's why it's very useful to know stuff like the command line because you're going to fill things in. So let's go into my terminal and I'm just going to create a test script. So it should be something like tool e-mail and then we're going to send and we're going to send the mail to and I'll send this to my network bird email address and we need to specify maybe a subject let's make the subject LAN has gone down and let's uh, create a you start TLS, yes, we need to use that if I'm using Google to send stuff with. And I'm going to maybe set a from address as, oh, let's leave the from address, that doesn't really matter in this thing. Uh, let's maybe set a body as well. Uh, Microtech TMB LAN has gone offline. Alrighty, I just quickly want to compare this to Microtech's own uh, settings. So let's just see, we can send a test mail to with the subject and the body and we're using TLS. Okay, we should be fine. So this should be a perfect script to just copy. So I can select this and I can copy it and then I'll just paste this into my down. So if this goes down, it should send me an email. Let me apply that. And then I'm going to test this by just unplugging the Ether2. I'm going to wait a few seconds. I'm just going to give it like five, four, three, two, one. Plug back in just so I get internet access so I can actually receive the email. And I'll reconnect to the Microtech. Let me open my mail. There I see I got a new mail and it's telling me that the LAN has gone down. All right, I actually know why it's, it's done that bit. And if I navigate to my NetWatch script quickly, so tools, NetWatch, script, the down. All right, that, that's actually perfect, to be honest. It's just because it had, for some reason, when I pasted the command across, um, it, it like had an enter there for some reason. All right, but perfect. We can see the LAN has gone down. So this way we can actually receive an automated email. I'll just quickly test that again, just to make sure that I get the right uh, header now. So let's just plug out. And I'll plug back in in a second. All right. And let me just bring my mail screen up here and there we see LAN has gone down. Microtech TMB lab has gone offline or LAN has gone offline. Okay, this is perfect. So this gives us automated emails if something goes offline. Alrighty, so that covers the lecture. You've learned how to use the email tool as well as the NetWatch tool and to use them together, which is pretty cool. I'll catch you in the next lecture.